To create an Explorer view in Pro Engineer, it's fairly simple. Make sure you've got your assembly file open, then go to View and View Manager. There are six tabs here, make sure you've got the Explode tab open, then say New. Give this um, a name that makes sense. And hit enter. Make sure this one is selected, then have properties. Once you can see this, you'll see this, these icons here. It's this one you want. This one, if you click on this, it allows you to edit the position of these components. I want to make sure this wheel moves in this direction here. So I want to turn on the coordinate systems display here. Now, I want to leave the translate option selected here, and I want to select here the coordinate systems here. If I zoom in, I can see that for the wheel, the coordinate systems display is this one here. And the X direction is in this way. That's the way I want, so I want to make sure the X direction is selected here. I'm now prompted to select one item. This is meaning for me to select the coordinate systems display first of all. So that's I'm going to select this one here. Then I have to select the item I want to move. In this case, it's going to be the wheel. I can then move the mouse to show where the wheel is going to go. So I'm going to zoom out so I can see it a bit better. I'm going to place it here. Now, I'm going to select another wheel. I'm going to move it out here again. One of the axles next. The next axle. And I can select the wheels from the back from this menu here. Once you've moved all your bits to the right places, say OK, and then OK to accept them. So I can see it a bit easier, I'm going to remove the coordinate systems display and zoom in. I'll go back to this list option. This car explode, I'm going to right click and say save. Say OK. And this should now have saved this as car explode. I'm going to close this window and make sure that this is OK. What we're going to do now is take this explorer view into a drawing sheet. So to do that, open up a new drawing sheet. Slight drawing. Give this drawing a name. And say OK. Make sure you've got the correct setup for this shown. And say OK. Once you get your drawing sheet up, right click, select Insert General View, and then left click to place your object. Select the type of view you want. I'm going to select isometric and say apply. Now we need to go to view states, tick the exploded components in view and select the drawing that you want here. Mine is called car explode so I'm going to select that and say apply. And this will show the exploded view of your object on your sheet here. You can change the scale too to make it a bit easier to see. Make sure whenever you make a change in here, you click Apply. I'm going to close this and also select the No Hidden line, then Repaint to show here. This is how you go about showing an exploded view in a drawing sheet.